Are you taking our picture? I don't know. What? So, tell me about these books. She was telling me that some of these are are historic, but then there are mini comics. That... Yeah, we got both of us are kind of doing stuff about inspired by queer history, um, which you're a part of. Yeah, well, but I mean, what what do you find the big themes in queer history? Uh, disagreement. <laughs> uh, yes. That's no. what all the living gay activists, all they do, they sit on the internet and argue about what was more significant. Are you I interview these people. They made me into a cartoon character. Why me? I made you? Carlo Uranus made, made me a cartoon character. Who, who did? Who did? He, he made you already, cartoon. yeah, but it's in the, it's in the queer anthology. Oh, his cartoon is? version. Oh, my. A strong political oh, really? uh, character. I hope, I hope he didn't use his real name. I, I don't think so, no. No, but the books are very detectable. But tell me what some of these things are like. Okay, so this is a, uh, a series about the Stonewall Riots. Yeah. And I'm very interested in looking at the lives of the people of that time and showing them not as the kind of like super clean cut role models that we associate today with the gay rights movement, I think, but kind of messy and beautiful and hopefully, even though obviously I didn't experience the riots, hopefully accurate and truthful in some way. Um, and so I did, diff because I think disagreement is a theme. And what do they cost? I did, what do uh, these cost? They're $10 each, full color, um, and each one is in a different art style to emphasize that those voices of disagreement. Uh -huh. So even the same characters appear in both books, but you get to see them you through know, different uh, eyes. Vito Russo was very shocked by the riots and thought it was terrible when he first saw them, and then it really? became a big out documentary in his documentary on his life. So, mm -hmm. And who, uh, who are the, you have Sylvia Rivera or Marsha Sylvia Rivera, yep. Where, where, well, how about Marsha B. Johnson? Of course. Where's Marsha? Marsha is in the next book that I'm working on right now. Oh, mm -hmm. catching up. Uh, you must have seen the Marsha B. Johnson pay it no mind. Uh-huh, yep. On, on the internet. Well, I've known, uh, Marsha was always going to be a big character in this series. And I wanted her, she's going to be the focus of of this this uh, And what will be the name well. of it? And where can they find out? I, I run the Marsha B. Johnson website on Great. Facebook. Or on so, this is my card here, and it has my website on it. Okay. Well, why don't you tell me what it is? It's www.ahsasha.com. A-H? A-H Sasha. It's a palindrome, so the same front ways and back. I like that. And Sasha is my name. I see. And, and when all will, my comics are and there. And when will that be out? That will hopefully be out uh, next winter or next fall. And what do they sell for? Ten dollars each, uh, thirty-two pages, full color, with uh, historical information and sources in the back. Picture Sylvia. Yep. And I show how I how I use 1940s art and real research to create a kind of hyper glamorous and your character. Name again? Sasha Steinberg. Thank you.